everyone's just focusing on this fucker. That is bugger all. Can I still activate you? an ogre. Hi. Oh shit. I thought that was stunned him. Cash. It looks like the dark spawn smashed the chest. Maybe there's still something to salvage in this mess. Come on, money. Miriam Lee's bilge hop. Alright, Merrick. Zoe's battered horde kickers. Interesting. Last time I came here, uh, during the last uh, recording set that I wanted to do, uh, when I had uh, the rogue that was just the only set I was going, only set I was going to do, not the three part that I'm currently doing. Um, I think the quest glitched because I couldn't examine that treasure cache when I was here. It was really weird and disturbing. Not really disturbing, just annoying. Let's go turn, uh, turn all these quests that we got. Keep in mind, if you didn't get the Fool's Gold quest, as in uh, Nathaniel's still alive after Dragon Age Origins, or you chose one of the other pre-built packs, uh, there will be a quest in Act 3 that's unlocked that won't be in uh, this playthrough. It'll be in uh, pretty much the other packs or if Nathaniel's still alive. Lieutenant Harley said I should see you about a reward. That's it. Not even going to mention your scuffle with Evitt's marauders. Killing the whole lot of them. Common murderers and thieves. I dealt with them. There's one small rub, though. Their leader, Evitz, wasn't there, was he? No. Evitz is the worst of the lot. He may try to get revenge one day. I dare him to try something. Ha! <laughs> He'd be a fool to, indeed. Thanks again for your help. Thank you for the money. Three sovereigns, not bad. Did I just run over Varric? That's hilarious. Alright, high town. So we're turning fool's gold. I think if you go to A1 first, I1 first, the guy that got killed, you can actually get the sword from him somehow. Not 100% sure on that, though. Although, it'd be kind of cool if we can keep going back to the Deep Rose whenever the hell we want. Piss, piss off Anders royally. <laughs> Every time I go, I take him with me. <laughs> you can't miss the keep. It practically screams nothing fun ever happens here. No. And it doesn't matter. Nobody deserves that. 
I know some mages who deserve that. Really? Perhaps they should start making slaves tranquil. Then they wouldn't dream of escaping. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Slaves do not attract demons that try to possess them. Which clearly justifies it. What a perfect solution. You know, technically, mages don't either. From what I've gathered, the demons flock to the mages because they have power. I mean, given the chance, they probably possess someone else too. You saved Marin. I don't think I'll ever be able to repay you. Iwan, he's not with you. I had hoped. Father, I told you it would be too late. He tried to kill Marin and Emrys, and you're sad he didn't make it? His betrayal isn't lost on me, Dira, but he'll always be my son. You've given me back two of my boys, Messer. I'm in your debt. Please take this as thanks. Thank you. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Let's see here. What do we have left to do? How are my affections with these guys? Anders could use some work. Varric could as well. Well, Varric doesn't really matter what with what I've planned. Okay. Fenris, I don't need to bring. Alright, we're going to do a quest that is uh, helpful if you uh, are stuck with a certain level of affection with certain characters. I'll go into great detail about who you should bring uh, depending on these circumstances. Meryl's definitely going to be one of them, because she's pretty low. Adeline's at max. Actually, I want to stop by my house to check out the affection of everyone. Actually. Um, docs. There's a uh, character switcher right there. I kind of wish you could check out the uh, stats of other players that you have, other characters you have, even if they're not in your party. You know, just sort of a, here's what they have, here's their affection, here's their stuff, do you want to change their equipment now or no? And that way you can level them up as well, even though they're not in your party. Because they do gain EXP alongside everyone else. Okay. I'm going to bring Anders with me, I know that much. Move all. Isabella... Meryl Andrews. Would that work? Yes, it will. But do they need it, is the question. Somewhat. They're my lowest level characters. They deserve it. Okay. Alright, so we're going to be doing the Night Terrors quest. Um, the Night Terrors quest will unlock up to three quests that are unique to uh, three of your party members, who you bring with you. Um, but there's a lot of issues with it, so we'll get into that once we get to the ge that part of the game. Or that part of the story. So I recommend bringing the characters you really want to get uh, a good EXP jump with. She just went to Meryl's house and hopped out from there. Do Dalish honestly not recognize the difference between demons and beneficial spirits? Hmm? We've never thought of the Fade as the home of our gods. It is another realm, another people's home, no different or more foreign than, say, Ozamar. But have you never studied the types of demons? They break down very clearly into different sins. Spirits differ from each other. Just as you and Hawk and Isabella are all human. More or less. I really like Meryl's perspective of things. Hmm. Hello, Ar uh, Ariane. Uh, 
Um, before doing this quest, if you go to uh, Sundermount, you can get a special quest to activate involving Fainreal, sort of. But after you do this quest, that quest doesn't, that event doesn't happen. You've already seen it when I went there with Meryl. I was hoping you'd come. You did so much for my Fainreal already, but I visited him among the people, but he turned me away. I know the demons still plague him. And now they've taken him. Two days ago, Fainreal went into a nightmare and hasn't returned. I did some work for you. That doesn't make me your boy's best friend. You may not think so, but I believe Fainreal does. My Dalish friends tell me he speaks of you all the time. The Keeper says Fainreal's powers are a throwback to ancient magics that once let elves shape the Fade. The only way to reach him is through his dreams. I'm not afraid of demons. Keeper Marathari thinks an ancient Dalish ritual can help free Fainreal, but someone he trusts must enter the Fade to guide him out. Are you willing to submit to her magic to save my son? I would not see the demons acquire a new source of power. I know his power makes him dangerous, but please... It's not Fainreal's fault. Be gentle with him. Frolic through dreams? Sounds like an experience. I'm game. You'll need someone experienced in the Fade to come with you. I've already called for the Keeper. We need to begin the ritual as quickly as possible. Would you like to stay here or return when she arrives? This is too urgent to delay. You have been far kinder than I had any right to expect. That was an interesting little scene showing how uh, how much they still respect her, even though they're not part of her tribe. I came quickly, Ariani. I did not wish to tell you by letter how grave your son's situation is. The magic he possesses makes him what the Tevinters called Sonniari, a dreamer. Dreamers have the power to control the beyond, what humans call the Fade. Fainreal is the first in two ages to survive. Why are they so rare? Dreamers have great power in the Fade. They attract demons. Luckily, most prove too frail of mind to survive a demon's possession. A dreamer abomination would be near unstoppable. Is there a difference between the Beyond and the Fade? They are the same. By either name, the Fade is the realm of spirits, Thedas' heart. While the mortal realm is its strong arm. The demons who live there covet the bodies of mortals and seek to possess them. Only mages ever touch the Fade in a waking state. Others see it in dreams. What exactly are we going to do here? The elves of the Dales were experts in the Somniari arts. They could even help those with no power enter the Fade. I have done my best to recreate the ritual. We will use Fainreel's childhood home as a focus to draw him back through the Veil. What can a dreamer do? Dreamers are unique for their ability to enter the Fade at will. Without the aid of Lyrium. In the Fade, they can shape dreams 
and even affect the world beyond the veil. Tevinter Somniari used to enter the minds of sleepers and slay them in their dreams. Just send me into the Fade. I told you our courage was legendary. Now, Ariani, please excuse us. We must prepare. Oh, of course. There is more, I must tell you, that is not for her ears. I want to get this over with. Fainreel cannot become an abomination. The destruction he would cause is unimaginable. If you cannot save him from the demons, you must kill him yourself. A death in the Fade will make him what your circle calls Tranquil. He will be no threat after. I will not let him become a danger. I wish you luck. Now, gather a team, and we will begin. Choose carefully, for all will face temptation. I never give in to temptation. I worry what a journey to the Fade might bring out in me. Can I come? I'd love to see the ritual. And I promise that I won't be a bother. Let us begin. Okay. <laughs> she mentioned that there's going to be temptation, which is true. There are going to be three demons that are going to try and uh, tempt us. Um, so we have to keep that in mind when we pick our party. Uh, Varric won't be affected by any, uh, any of the demons. So you're good with bringing him if you want to. Uh, same with Anders. So those are you two that you want to bring regardless. Isabella and Aveline will be affected by the same demon as will Fenris and Meryl. So if you want to make a party, make sure it's a combination of those two, but never like, for example, Fenris and Meryl. If you want to get the uh, most out of it. The third demon, well, we'll get to him when we get there. So we're going to have this party with Isabella and Meryl. Of course, you can always go alone, too. That'd be, that'd be more interesting. Um, if you have the Exiled Prince DLC, um, Sebastian uh, won't come into the Fade at all. As far as I know. We're just here for a visit, so don't get too homesick. I am Justice. Anders has told you of me. Come. I sense Fainwheel's mind straining. We will not have much time. I know it's you, Justice. You didn't have to introduce yourself. Meryl's and Anders are pissed because I chose to, uh, agree to killing him if I need to. So occasionally we'll find these items floating around. They'll give us uh, abilities if we can catch them or do stuff with them. There's also a pu there are two puzzles we have to solve as well. This one's a very easy one. All we have to do is get the uh, small barrels on top and the large barrels on bottom. Almost done. And there we go. The uh, book and the barrel puzzle there only give us one attribute point. This upcoming one though will give us two if we solve it quick if we solve it right. And thankfully it's an easy one again. All we have to do is get the red barrels in the center. If you're not quick enough, demons will attack you. Kinda 
kind of messes up a little bit. And there we go. Alright then. That's all said and done. Well, it's rare to see two forgotten magics in one day. It's usually a slow place, a fade. Not many surprises. I wasn't sure I'd like this one, but it has potential. A demon of sloth. It exists to make men forget their purpose and their pride. Do not relax around it. Call me Torbor. I have a proposition that might interest you. I will not give in to temptation, fiend. Have it your way. Alrighty. Yeah, Meryl doesn't like that. Anders really likes it, though. All you want done is uh, give you the option to choose between different types of power upgrades. All right, let's start with uh, this one. This is Fenriel's Pride. I love the ceiling. My people, I present to you our hope. His features may mark him as human, but in his heart beats the blood of the Dales. He came to us to learn his heritage, to release the power from a lineage as ancient as our race. I... I don't know what to say. That's not the Keeper, Fainriel. Demons can take on other forms. Enchanter is a pawn of the Templars. No. Silence, demon. Weren't you? Keeper Marathari warned me of this. You're not the Keeper. Mother's people have no circle, but they don't consort with demons. You. Why did you interfere? There can be no honest deal with a demon. No? You think I will lie then, when I offer your friends what Fainriel turned down? You think this elf, with her innocent face, would turn down a demon's offer? She didn't before. How about it? Would you take what I offered the boy? Scion of the Dalish, savior of elven kind. Can you do that? I am the greatest of my kind. Whatever tricks your little pet has taught you will pale in comparison. Demons always turn on you in the end. I... cannot put you ahead of the fate of my people. You took my dreamer. Now you'll take his place. Ah, great. Wow, Meryl really didn't like that. We took her down almost instantly, too. Right? Yeah. So yeah, Meryl's gonna be pissed at me when we get out of here. Alright, on 
into Fenriel's desires. That's it, Fenriel. Pardon the downstroke, then lift. Good. I'll have you scribing all my letters soon. If I'd known you were such a great lad, I'd have brought you into the business years ago. Does that mean I can come with you to Antigua, father? Mother said maybe this summer. Right, mother? That's not your father, Fainrael. It's a demon. And I'm definitely not your mother. A demon? No. No, I want this! Then remember this is who took away them. Only thing you ever wanted. Ah! You. You turned him against me. And now you're going to die. Take away my pets, and I'll take away yours. How loyal are these friends you drag into the Fae? Would your pirate queen stay if the open water beckoned? What do you say, sweetheart? A two-mast brigantine, square main topsail, a hundred well-built lads to answer your every whim. I know you've been looking for a stiff masthead. Hmm. Think about siding with that demon and you're dead. You'll have to catch me first. The Silence Call too waits in Kirkwall Harbor. I'll be under the furs in the Captain's quarters. I like big boats. I cannot lie. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm choosing the bad options because of Frist's personality. Choose them accordingly to the personality uh, for them. I can't spend another moment in this place. The screaming. Everywhere, all I hear are the nightmares of people dying, fleeing, gnawing their own arms off to escape. This is a world of monsters. And they all want me. Please, help me escape. Help me die. If I kill you here, I only destroy your mind. You will become a tranquil. I was afraid of that for so long. I can't even remember why. To live. To sleep without dreaming. To never hear a demon's whisper. It is a blessing as great as standing at the Maker's side. Do it. Put the knife in my heart. You can master this talent, Fainrail. You don't have to let it destroy you. The Dalish do not have what I need. Perhaps to Vinter. If these powers can be trained, it would be there. I can do this. I'm really curious how my uh, affection with the other, my other party members are going to be after this. Meryl really took a big dip into rivalry. Rivalry. She hates me. Fainrail has mastered his powers. Then he lives. You saved him. I cannot thank you enough. Keeper Marathari, may I return with you to the Sunderlands? I would like to ask for my son's forgiveness. Of course. It was you who chose to stay away. He must go elsewhere to train. There is no one in Kirkwall to help him. He asked me to say goodbye. My son? No. Oh, I must find him before he goes. It is wise for him to seek guidance. Kirkwall cannot provide what he needs. I truly did not think what you did was possible. 
You are a rare human indeed. You have my apologies. It is easy to forget that one cannot bind demons with words. Your friend awakened here some time ago. No one is immune to a demon's offer. You accomplished a miracle with Fainrail. This book belonged to the last dreamer of our tribe. It has a rare magic beyond price. Please, accept it with my gratitude. Yay, we got it done. I'm going to stop by uh, Meryl and uh, Isabella before I reset my recorder, though. I have uh, stuff to say, and I'm kind of curious what the affection is for my other players right now. Yay, leveled up. Oh, I mean, Ander's happy. Abilities, let's see here. Yep, she dipped into rivalry territory. Anders and Isabella are on even footing. Alright, now I'm level 17, I can equip new gear too. Let's see what this gold set looks like. That's so weird. <laughs> but it's definitely a lot better than what I currently have. Thank God I don't have to see that though. What's that? Nice. All right, let's see what uh, Meryl has to say, and then uh, Aveline, not Aveline, Isabella. All right. I can't believe I turned on you. With the demon in the Fade, I'm so sorry. Maseranus. I'll understand if you can't forgive me. You didn't betray me. The demon made you do it. I should have recognized I was being manipulated. I've been so careful in all my dealings with spirits until now. To make such an obvious mistake. It frightens me. It takes so little for a mage to fall. What do you do to protect yourself from demons? The Keeper taught me. In the Fade, you must believe nothing but yourself. Everything there is a lie, or a trick, or a trap. I knew not to trust, and I don't know why I did. What made you give in? It felt like... Every word the demon spoke reached out and pulled at my heart. I didn't want to believe it, but I just had to. You're already in a lot more danger than most mages. Because of the blood magic. I know. I'll be more guarded from now on. Thank the creators you were there. It won't happen again. I'll make sure of that. I can already hear that some of you are pissed that I'm, uh, I'm not playing Hrist as hard ass as she usually is in the game. I'm sure some of you are that way. But I want you to keep in mind that, uh, wrong area, by the way. Hrist, uh, is a hard ass, hates everyone except for those she, uh, groups with, I guess. She is only loyal to, in the story, Odin and her Iron Harry are. So, I'm be having her be a little more uh, gentle with her friends versus everyone else, where she's like, fuck you, fuck all of you. So, that's kind of why Chris is not being as ruthless as she usually is. Uh, 
Isabella. I never have affairs with my crew. Once they see you naked with your ass in the air, they think they don't have to take orders. <laughs> Men. Oh. You have to be twice as tough to earn half as much respect. So did the crew member mutiny? I mean, after you... You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I had the offending member removed. That got rid of the attitude. I... Oh, look, it's Hawk. You have a lot to answer for. Oh, bugger. I knew this was coming. I'm sorry I abandoned you in the Fade. That was foolish of me. I mean, I didn't even get the ship in the end. I don't blame you. I understand what it's like to be under the influence of a demon. You... what? That's it. No angry rant. Are you trying to get me to jump into bed with you? Because it's working. Don't be ridiculous. Fair enough. I'm glad you understand, though. Oops. Alrighty then. So I'm going to reset my recorder so we don't get too much screen tearing, and I'll be right back.